Hello. Um, just another quick update. Um, bit of a milestone I think I've passed tonight. Um, I've managed to get the rear wing finished. Uh, oh, one of them. <laughs> um, basically, I've um, welded it all up. All the inside seals, the inside seam has been done. Um, let me get my light and I'll show you. It's uh, it's rough and ready, but uh, yeah, it's done. Um, as you can see, I've had to uh, I've had to patch it. Um, I'm unsure what you had to do with with these patches, whether to grind them flush or whether just to leave them there and put some seam sealer on. Uh, but yeah, so I've managed to come all the way around. I've just put some red lead on just to uh, just because it was there really. Um, yeah, so I'm happy. The, the the wing is bolted on and it's uh, it's not going anywhere. I can pull on that. It's not going anywhere. Um, got some uh, some repair to do on there, but I'm going to do that with fiberglass matting and stuff. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the uh, the gap that I've got all the way around the wing. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm quite pleased with that. How it's uh, how it's all gone back on. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, just on the, uh, let me move this welder. Just on the subject of the um, of the inner wing. Just let me show you what I've had to do inside. You'll you can see it better from in here. Um, yeah, look at that hot. So I've had to put that patch on, but you can see where I've previously patched it. These are just little holes that were in that I've just filled. Um, it's going to be sanded down again this obviously because it's going to be the uh, the interior but you can see what's um, this was well that was my original outer panel then I've put that piece on try to uh, try to bring it into the wing um, obviously that didn't work we just blew holes and that's how far in I've had to go to get away from the uh, away from the thin metal now whilst I was thinking about it obviously this face of the uh, of the inner wheel arch um, it's subject to all the crap that's thrown up by the wheel as the wheel spins around so I'm wondering if that has any um, any bearing on why this metal was so thin and obviously because it's rusty it's been there for 50 odd years um, but yeah that's where we're up to so I'm going to uh, I'm going to grind all this back make it smooth because that is going to be the inner panel for when, when the seat sits there so not that anybody's going to notice but yeah I will um, these are rather large bolts are the bolts that I'm just using just to hold the wing on um, they will be uh, they will be changed for smaller ones so yeah so I'm happy now that that's solid again um, as is the uh, the wing is fitted so yeah I'm happy about that yeah, it's been a it's been a pain in the backside. Um, I've still got to finish off this outside, and then put the other the other uh, bumper mount bracket on. Um, I don't know if you can see in there, but uh, I've filled the holes, uh, so I'll put the bumper mount bracket back on, and then weld it through. Uh, sorry, drill it through, and have it uh, have it bolted on. So, yeah. Like I said, that's just a, a quick update. It'd be interesting actually to see what the uh, what the other arch is like. Um, like I say, um, actually I'll go and have a look. Just bear with me, move this junk out of the way. Yeah, um, it's it's obviously thin after all these years, but it's um, it's a strange one. Yeah, you see that, that is even more solid, funnily enough, because the other one was rotten at the edge. But uh, that seems to be a little bit more solid. I wonder why that would be. Uh, well, when I say solid, it's uh, solid rust, but the, the actual inner wing I'm, I'm referring to. That's, uh, yeah, so that's next week's job. <laughs> Start all over again on this side. Um, yeah, so... Just a quick update, just to let people know. I know there's uh, some people are wondering how we're going on, but uh, 
yeah I'm uh, quite pleased with that and I'm happy that's another milestone so everything is now welded I've got one more panel to weld on, onto the floor there I've had to leave it off whilst I've got this corner done but uh, yeah so that's it yeah just a, a quick update oh by the way I bought this uh, bought this light uh, I don't know if anybody uses work lights or anything like that. But uh, Parkside got it from, I don't know, um, Aldi, Little, Little, might have been. Um, really, really bright, really good. It's rechargeable, as you can see how bright it is. Um, yeah, very, very good. Beats the hell out of my other big bloody halogen lights. And it's rechargeable, a lot easier to, uh, to roll about with. So yeah, that's me. Um, I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.